hello guys so in this video we are going to be able we are going to be doing some initial setups just some basic setup from the cli for the fmg uh, fmg over here the 40 manager right so everything is going to be from the cli just so i can show my you know my skills um, looks like it's still booting up so let's go ahead and pause this video for one second so here it is it is up and running let's go ahead and enter the username and password you know admin admin for me the first thing that i want to do is i want to configure the dns so config system dns and then we are going to set the primary to one that one that one that one cloudflare of course set secondary one that zero that zero that one should be good plenty and then end it right after you end it in here we want to go ahead and configure this interface we are just going to configure ports one for now this one is going to be the management so when you configure port one right uh, it's going to be on the one and two one state that one network and this one is going to be my management network um, and this machine is going to be the only one the windows 10 machine to be able to reach um, the fmg via the web GUI and ssh and all that all that good stuff so let's go ahead and configure that config system interface right we're going to edit port one and if you do a show over here you can see that it has the default ip so we are just going to change that set ip 192.16 i mean we can keep it there at 99 but i want to change it to the one that one that two by five that two by five that two by five that zero set allow access ssh so i want to add more https http ssh and also ping and i think this should be it we can set the alias to mgmt or management and that's let's see the management what else do we want to do so also i want to configure a a, a route so if we do end it and we do i think the route that is in here is going to be a different route that is going via port two but i want this guy to go out via port one now so if you do config system route if we do a show you can see that the one because it's the old one that we did previously so i want to edit one and I want to set device to port one, set gateway to 192.168.1.254. That is going to be the IP address of my 40 gate firewall. Port three is going to have 192.168.1.254. All right. All my default gateways are going to have 254, by the way. Set DST. I want to send all the traffic there. We go and then let's go ahead and end it cool beans so this should be it now but if you want to further test this i want to boot up my switch over here and then my windows machine and when that is up and running we are going to be testing this guy so we set up this fmg port one to be 192 168.1.1 so i want to make sure that I'm able to reach the 40 manager from here from my Windows machine, this Windows machine over here, which is basically my management machine, right? Where I'm able to configure everything from. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Open this bad boy up. All right, oh, there we go. So here, let's see if I remember the password. Is it admin? Um, yes, look at that. I'm, I'm that good. I'm that great that I remember the password. So we're going to log into this Windows 10 machine. And I just want to verify that I'm able to reach that 40 manager via the web GUI, aka the, you know, the browser. So let's go ahead and wait for this guy to boot up. Oh, here we go. That was fast. The first thing that I want to do is I want to open the network, uh, my network settings and in the network settings, I want to make sure that it is in the same network as the 40 manager, which is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. 
a firezilla you can see you later alligator we're going to open the only interface that we have here properties properties yep so this one I got the dot three which is great default gateway two five four and yep that should be good I should be able to reach my 40 manager we have the Firefox and also should be able to ping this bad boy uh, let me go ahead and go into PowerShell we can just test ping because we did set allow access to ping so we should be able to go ahead and ping 192.168.1.1 oops 192.168.1.1 no did I not do a ping oh IP config why did I do IP config did I really do IP config I want to ping there we go so you can see that it's up and running it is um, I'm able to send ping requests and I get reply see not now Firefox come on that one that one dismiss we can see it over here advance accept the risk and continue and in here soon enough we should be able to get the the and the 40 manager and main and main and that should let us in we can just save the password so we don't have to enter it over and over and over and over and over and over again and here we go so we are into the 40 manager that is great we have an alert vm license we're aspiring six days cool thank you for letting me know so we are ready to roll awesome uh, so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching like always and i will see you on the next one